also uh, a, a nice way to add stems. You can do them with a rigger, which I do sometimes. But I also, sometimes, if I can make it work, I'll use the edge of a piece of uh, windshield wiper. Okay, that's a little strange, I know, but I'll show you, hopefully I'll show you that in just a minute. So first though, I'm gonna use the rigger because it's uh, probably in your, in your palette, you probably have it. Uh, and the idea behind the rigger is to get some nice fine lines. So you wet your brush and sort of roll it to a fine point and then you want to get some really nice, rich, dark paint out on your palette. In this case, we're gonna make it sort of a dark green. Put a little blue and purple in it as well. And for this to show up, it really needs to be, um, you know, pretty thick. So hopefully this will be enough paint, at least for the time being. Uh, get it good and rich there. Ooh, that should do it. I hardly ever do that much mixing on my palette. All right, so I wet my brush, I patted it. I'm gonna just sort of swipe it through this dark green and I'm gonna roll it to a fine point. And then I want to just flick some little stem looking things up and around so it just gives it some connection and just a little, little variety in what we've got here. So I think I'll start up here and I'm just gonna, that's a good one. Maybe do this one a little bit different direction. Might even have that as an extra little stem somewhere. Uh, one here. Okay, we probably need a couple on the bottom. Maybe coming out of this. If you do it in an area that's wet, it'll diffuse and then when the paper's dry, uh, when it hits the dry paper, it'll, you know, it'll stay that nice little shape there. But it's fun to have a variety of that as well. And we'll do a couple over here. Let's get a connection there and here and so forth. Okay, now that's not quite finished. We need to add some dark to some of our uh, flowers and um, We'll do that with sponges. Okay. Start with, um, let's enhance the uh, yellow ones first. We'll put a little orange or a little, actually a new, little bit of new gamboge on here. And sometimes I like to test these to see what I'm gonna get. Actually, that's going to be more orange, but that's all right. We'll do, and I'm not trying to cover up uh, anything. I'm just adding some texture to those flowers that have a little bit of yellow and orange in them without necessarily having to paint it. Okay, now let's see if we can enhance the red. It's going to go to a darker red. We're going to go to a... Uh, alizarin probably, or a rose matter, or permanent rose, or something like that. Sort of a pinker red. There. adds a little more value to it so it get, makes it look like it's just not so flat. You certainly don't want to cover up everything that you started with, but this just gives it a little more variety. Okay, and we'll go to uh, put a little texture in the uh, purple. If I can maybe just do that right there in the well. Oh, there 
there we go. Depending on how you hold the sponge, you'll get a, you know, a different shape. Okay. Now for the green, I actually have another sponge that has green already on it, so I'm going to use that, and that way I won't have to worry about it. Cleaning that one. Okay, the sponge um, is a fun thing to do. It's really easy to overdo it. So, uh, you know, it's just to add suggestions of texture. So, you know, just make sure you leave some of the uh, elements that were um, in the initial washes showing as well. Now, uh, at this stage, what I can also do, and we'll be about finished with this, is just take a toothbrush and I'm going to do just a little spattering of these colors. And then uh, maybe just a little bit more uh, of a little bit of a shadow shape on the, on the vase and we'll be done. So I'm going to start with yellow or the yellow orange. And I'm just going to put a little spray of the yellow. Sometimes it'll drip, which is okay. Let's see, that's a little wet. Let me see if I can... Get some of that water out of there. The fun thing is if you have a place that you think is too dark, or maybe it's lost some of its luminosity, especially a green or something, you can actually spatter some yellow right back into it, and that'll sort of bring it back a little bit. If you, if you need to do that, you may not have to do that. Okay. This just adds a little sparkle, gives it a little a fresh look. Okay. Whoops. Put just a little color in this corner here so you can see the edge of this vase. It's kind of sort of got lost there. And then I'm going to wash that out just a little bit. And let's put just a little yellow here and there. Okay, uh, I've done this um, different, different ways. You can actually uh, do it on a larger piece of paper like this for a bigger composition as well as the small ones. Uh, you, can, you can use different colors in your flowers. You can finish it in different amounts. You could change your vase. Uh, but sometimes what I like to do is put, uh, if I have a bigger composition, I like to put a background in it to make it even more dramatic. Uh, for instance, I did this one with a pot of geraniums and I put a darker background and so it makes it, it just gives it a different look. So I'm gonna do that real quick.